Web VR is changing. So, because this is the hardware which we were aiming for when the Web VR APIs were being put together. So this is the um, this is the uh, Oculus Rift DK2. Um, it's one of the early virtual reality headsets, and it was incredible. It was an incredible piece of hardware which really sparked the imagination of what VR could do. But we've really moved along a lot from there. So since then, there's been Pokemon Go, which has been amazing to show how a how a well-made, simple. Um, engaging AR application can capture the imaginations of millions um, and there's nothing about Pokemon Go that shouldn't be able to be built using web technologies. This is the HoloLens on top and the and the Magic Leap 1 below. Uh, the HoloLens is, is made by Microsoft. Um, these two devices are augmented reality headset devices which lets the um, the AR content be placed in the room around you. So just as you'd wear a VR headset to look around virtual reality and it would move with you, it's a similar case except you can still see your surroundings and virtual objects are placed on top. So WebVR um, was built for, for, for these headsets, the Gear VR, the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive. So these are normal VR headsets. But this is what WebXR is going to cover. So the HoloLens and the Magic Leap, which are both the AR headsets I showed you earlier, but also the um, um, phone AR experiences like Pokemon Go, um, allowing developers to, to build engaging apps like that in the web platform. So this is incredibly powerful. So what does WebXR look like? Well, it looks like this. So here we've gone to a website and we've pressed a button and with one click we can place this astronaut into the room with us so we can we can look at its size and see what's happening and we can interact with it which is an incredibly engaging way to to work with content there's also uh, uh, new apis for getting inputs so previously web vr um, forced users to build for specific pieces of hardware in order to make the most of the controllers. But the XR input APIs are designed to, um, they're designed to abstract those um, controllers so that you can, if you, so that if you build with these APIs, you write an experience that works once um, and it will be usable again and again on, on a hardware which hasn't even been invented yet, which can use the same APIs. You can use the WebXR today using the WebXR Polyfill, um, but these APIs, um, they're still early and they will be changing. But keep an eye on them and you can really get engaged. Um, the work is being done in the, on the open on GitHub. So if you go to github.com slash immersive web, you can see where the APIs are being developed and even get involved yourself if you want to. Thank you so much for listening.